At 5.30, the odds were stacked against him from the beginning. A puppy found with a metal rod lodged in his head. At first, the prognosis was not good, but the puppy has pulled through. The five-inch rod went from one eye through the other eye socket, and tonight we're learning that veterinarians did something incredible. Lynn Hayes Freeland joins us live with more on that. Lynn. Christine, when that puppy showed up here at University Veterinary, Veterinary Specialist here in McMurray, there wasn't a lot of hope. The future looked bleak for the 10-year-old terrier mix that's been known as the puppy. But not only is this dog a fighter, we learned today he's a winner. Remember this little guy, known as simply the puppy? This 12-week-old terrier mix was found just over two weeks ago with a 5-inch rod in his head. It went through one eye, the other eye socket, and the front part of his brain. Now, look at him today. It's nothing short of, of a miracle that he's doing so well and uh, that he has both of his eyeballs and that he basically is going to live a normal, happy life. The puppy has been here at University Veterinary Services since Washington County Humane officials alerted them to his condition. No word on the investigation into how that rod ended up in his head, but it is believed to have happened somewhere in the Bentleyville area. Some of the staff members here have donated their time towards his care, and the donations to help continue to pour in. To see him uh, not even be able to open his eyes to being able not only see, but chase around tennis balls and, uh, and run after you and, and have, have a play date, it's... Uh, it's heartwarming. The long-term goal for the puppy is for him to be adopted, and that could happen in just a few weeks. It will be good news, but a sad day for the staff here that has become quite attached. He's become a mascot for us. Now I misspoke in my introduction. I said the 10-year-old puppy. Obviously, that doesn't make sense. He is. He was 10 weeks when he got here. He's 12 weeks now. He is active. He is rambunctious, and he's going to make some family very happy. Reporting live in McMurray, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA TV News.